We end tonight with the story you don't know about the first lunar landing in the summer of 1969 and the woman who rescued a precious artifact from the dustbin of history. Here's Jim Axelrod. It's one small step for man. Neil Armstrong's giant leap for mankind onto the moon allowed him to make several small scoops there as well. He's got this little sort of bag on a sharp rim. Collecting lunar dust and rocks in a specially designed decontamination bag to bring home. The rocks became national treasures. The bag, not so much. Forgotten about until resurfacing three years ago on a government auction website that space enthusiast Nancy Carlson like to check out. I did see a bag that was described as a lunar bag flown with a number on it and it included the word moon dust. And as soon as I when saw... When you saw that, mm -hmm. your eyes must have lit up. That would be putting it nicely. <laughs> she quickly slapped down her $995 and a week later, history arrived. It was like finding the holy grail. But found was almost lost again for Nancy. Just to be sure it was from Apollo 11, she sent the bag off to NASA so they could test the dust embedded in the fabric. Very powdery surface. And that was where things started to go off the rails, to put it nicely. NASA told Carlson, yes, her bag had been to the moon, but no, they would not be returning it, since they said it never should have been sold to start with. Nancy had to sue to get her bag back. She won, though the publicity convinced her the bag wouldn't be safe in her home. So Thursday, the 48th anniversary of the moon landing, Nancy will auction it off. That's moon dust? Yes. Cassandra Hatton is with Sotheby's. If I just say Neil Armstrong moon dust, you get it. You don't need to be American to understand why this is important, and that's also what's exciting about it, is I could talk to a five-year-old in China, and they would get excited about this. The bag is expected to fetch between two and four million dollars. Not a bad return on Nancy's $995 investment. I found a piece of history that everybody forgot about, so that's my great gratification in all of this. I saved it from being lost. Nearly half a century later, Thanks to Nancy Carlson's internet trolling, go for landing on the moon. There's a new footnote to the greatest adventure story in human history. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.